There is no deficit in the brilliancy of this infinite attention, which is at the basis of your very being right now. It's hearing my voice. You can get rid of it. It's inescapable. It's already here. It's already free. It's already focused in its own sense. All right, next question by Marvin. How to meditate and deepen recognition of I am, or the basic space of awareness or mind, with HDHD, ADHD, and problems focusing persistently? Good question. We all, in a sense of a form of this, um, we may not be diagnosed, but it's very common these days, just due to the nature of our technology and our social media and all this constant advertisement and we have all kind of become a little bit ADHD or ADD. Um, so attention deficit disorder, what's that mean? You know, what does any of these diagnoses mean really? They're, they're labels. Um, and we got to try to understand what they mean. Cause when we go to a doctor or psychiatrist, and we get diagnosed with these things, we create a self image based on something we don't even understand fully, like something attributed to us by someone else in a way. So it's really important whenever you receive a diagnosis or a, light, a label to really ask yourself to not jump to any conclusions, what that means to not integrate that as your final reality, or that's actually true. Of course, it can be useful, these types of diagnoses, but you got to be careful to ask yourself, well, okay, but what does that mean? What does it actually point to? Instead of just assuming, oh, okay, I am now ADD. So just a side note, but I find this very important um, for us to remember in those situations. But what does ADD mean? Really, what does attention deficit disorder mean? Here's the thing, how could you ever lack attention? How could you ever be in an attention deficit? Try it right now. Try to not be aware. Try it harder. Try to not hear my voice right now. Try to not know that you exist right now and see, check if it's working. Check in with yourself in your direct experience, your perception of this moment, and ask yourself, am I successful in not being aware right now and not having attention? And if you can notice your attention itself, if you can notice, wait a second, I essentially I am attention. Now you can take this idea this knowledge of attention out of the realm of distraction versus non-distraction or focus. All right, what I mean by that, your attention is always there persistently, as you've put it. You cannot not have attention, but you can have attention poured into distraction or you can have attention poured into focus. But the essence is the same very thing. It's like pouring water into a bottle or pouring water over some kind of a grid and it just kind of scatters. Water is a water. Attention is attention. There is no deficit in the brilliancy of this infinite attention, which is at the basis of your very being right now. It's hearing my voice. You can get rid of it. It's inescapable. It's already here. It's already free. It's already focused in its own sense. So, to link this to your specific question, how to meditate and deepen recognition of I am with ADHD or ADD and problems focusing persistently. My first answer then is understand the nature of attention to be always already shining. Is that what shines out of your eyes right now? Can you forget about that and get distracted by an object, the contents of your mind? Yes. Can you then remember to recognize your attention as free, like water, you can pour it into a stream right now in a certain direction if you wish. We call that focus. But even our focused expression of attention 
is not limiting attention itself. The river does not define the water. The scattered water, the raindrops, does not define the water. The ring does not define the gold. The clouds do not define the sky. The sun rays do not define the sun. My whole point here is that the I am ultimately equals the power of your intent, attention. So if you can recognize the fact that you are, and you can begin to really take this attention back from the world of distraction versus focus, that dual idea, and just notice the fact of life, which is that you cannot get rid of your attention. You cannot distort or distract your attention, not really. Because even when it's distracted, it's still there. It's completely attentively distracted. When you're focused, it doesn't matter. You're still there. You're completely attentively focused. Those are different shapes given to awareness or attention. But they are not limiting or defining or affecting traceless, stainless attention itself. This is always available to you. Your attention is yours to shape however you want, like the basic energy of the universe, and it creates your life experience. It does. So how to meditate and deepen on the I am when you're scattered or when you don't feel like you can focus? Then don't bother. Let it be exactly as it is. Because you don't want to continue to fuel the erroneous idea. You don't want to continue to buy into the self-image that you have somehow an attention deficit disorder and you need to be focused and try to focus yourself persistently. Otherwise, you can't practice or meditate or know yourself. Nothing is further from the truth. When I'm in a chaotic environment, I'm walking through a mall and everyone's like thinking the worst things around me and I can sense it and feel it. It's the perfect ground to recognize how motionless I am. How available, how unobstructed my awareness essentially really is. It's in contrast to the chaos. It's in contrast to the distraction that you can realize your true self. So this is where you have an advantage, my friend, because if you were someone who could focus persistently, you'd be very likely, especially if you didn't have me as teacher, to reflect this, because this is a very subtle spiritual trap, you'd be very likely to end up as a Buddhist monk. And I'm just saying the stereotypical image of a Buddhist monk, focused, which has beautiful benefits, but it doesn't realize itself. It's not truly awake. It doesn't know the truth. It doesn't know the true nature of itself. It hasn't awakened because the true natural state, that formless essence that we want to learn to recognize more and more purely, this timeless reality has still been associated by that practitioner with their focused state of mind. They haven't been able to separate the true nature of themselves yet from the form that it took. But if you're someone who has difficulty focusing and on the surface, you don't seem like you're spiritually successful because of your lack of focus, and you're not cultivating these spiritual qualities because of your lack of focus, this gives you the contrast you need to realize that's not what I am. I am neither the focus and the spiritual qualities that come from focus, nor am I the distraction and the human qualities that come from that focus. I am something deeper than both of that. So you have a real advantage here to awaken truly and not in the conflated sense, not in the mixed up sense, where the basis of mind is still identified with the function of mind or the contents of mind. So beautiful. I'm happy for you and your ADHD. Enjoy it. It's the perfect contrast you need to see this distracted movie. And you're like, fuck that. How could I ever be that distracted movie? I'm clearly aware. I'm clearly aware of the distraction. Something in me is aware of the distraction and lack of focus. And somehow that is unaffected by the lack of focus. My well-being, my I amness is already undistracted by distraction. Now you're starting to wake up. Thank you, Marvin.